want to share this video. I think this video is very important for the time that we're in right now where we are a couple of days away from voting for our next president. So I want to share what Gina Jenny perspective is of both parties. Now, I don't agree with everything he say, but majority of the things he does say, I do agree. Let's get into this. The other, rich the other, middle class the other. What about the poor people? What about the poor people? You brag about America is the richest country in the world? Then why you got people living under bridges and living in subways, sleeping in their own urine? Say that, like why is it that we are sending so much money overseas to other countries while we have our own people here that don't have place a place to sleep? Now, the other day they took a video of Ukraine and see how clean Ukraine is, right? When you look at other countries, Israel, that we are sending our hard earned tax money to. If you see how their country is nice and clean, and if you look at America, if you look at the city, New York City, New Jersey, can I, how many people that are homeless, that veterans who, who fought for our country are living, they're living below the poverty line, but yet we're sending billions of dollars overseas to fund wars. I do agree with he with what he said at um, this part. And in, their own, and in their own feces. And yet you can put together a four billion, four hundred million dollar package of artillery to give to Israel. How can you give Israel four hundred million dollars or four hundred billion? to kill people and you can't get these poor people off the streets of America you liars you're a bunch of liars and the pulpits of America is quiet calling out everybody okay everybody that don't talk up that he's calling out everyone and I am apostolic and I, I, this, there, this thing where the pulpit is under restraint is happening at every different churches, every different organization. Okay. So let's go. You bunch of Baptist, apostolic, Pentecostal, non-denominational, Lutheran and Catholic and religious uncle Tom's out there. Amen. That's why they think something wrong with me. Exactly. Like there's certain things that the pastors and leaders of churches, they don't talk about. And the reason why, because their pulpit is now becoming more political and it's becoming more funded by different organizations. So they can't speak up against these things because then the pastors and the leaders are going to lose money. So nowadays the church or the organization, the Christians organization can't speak up to any and anything when it comes to um, abortion and you know, all these things that are happening, they can't, they can't be raw and they can't speak about the word of God the way the word of God is meant to be communicated to the world because they're being funded by different organizations that once you speak up against these type of, um, these type of, I will say controversial topics, they will stop funding them. So this is why I really have to give it to Gino Jenin because one thing he does he speak up and he talks about the Bible, whether you like it or not, because I made a video on, on YouTube that's getting a lot of views. Um, a lot of people, a lot of pastors, leaders are afraid to talk about going to hell. Instead, they say, you're not going to go to heaven. Gino Jen is actually the only pastor I hear that said, if you don't do this, you're going to hell. And people might say, actually, the reason why is because he doesn't want to hurt people. So there's a video that he spoke about this. He said, if there's someone who is 
in fire uh, it was burned it was, if there's someone that's trapped in a house that has fire are you gonna say oh get out the house oh you will get burned. are you gonna scream are you gonna be very dramatic the way you're talking to that person to let them know that they have to take um, precaution because if they don't they will get burned it's the same situation many of the leaders are so um they're, they're they tend to pay more attention to to being nice and you know being um okay for um, for society as opposed to preaching the word of god and this is why a lot of people don't have a fear of god anymore instead they the pastors have a fear of the of the consequences that um talking about these controversial events bring to them and i am apostolic and i i there's there this thing where the pulpit is under restraint is happening at every different churches every different organization okay so let's continue but what's wrong the thing that's wrong with me i was made a preacher that's right. Glory to hallelujah right. and being made a preacher thank god the god of heaven put a board in my back with the help of God, we won't cease while the breath of life is in my body to warn the world and let the world know what God don't like. You better go back to the seventh chapter of the book of John. Begin at verse six again. And the book Everybody all right? Amen. St. John. Hear me well. St. John chapter seven and that they, verse They six. ought to take this message and make it go viral. I have to take this, everything I said about the Democrats and the Republicans, about the poor. You out there that like to slice up my message, take that excerpt, take that part. Amen. Put it on Facebook and put it on Instagram and put it on everywhere else. And see what these Trump lovers and Harris lovers say then. Not one. Mention the poor, not one. That is true. You don't hear a governor mention it. You don't hear a mayor mention it. No bill is passed in Congress to deal with poor. Poor, not middle class, not rich rascals. Poor. Woman can't afford to buy milk living in the street children walk around full of lice roaches all in their clothes and lice all covering their hair you can't even tell what race the child is because they're covered with dirt having washed in over five months and they can't in america and you that got are able to come and go as you please well you don't know how that got there who cares how they got there they're there right. what time you got the nick pick over the poor how they got there they're there what is america gonna do about it they're there some of the poorest people is a few blocks from the white house that is true some of the poorest people in the few blocks right from the walk of fame in hollywood the star walk of fame that is true people sleeping in boxes what governor put together a program to do something you bunch of uncle tom religious hypocrites that i don't agree with um, I had made a video, I believe, last year about why he may, he explained why Christians didn't vote unless that party is 100% in line with the Bible. And, you know, a lot, I've been getting a lot of comments on the video, so I'm going to share a link of the video so then you guys could watch it. And just FYI, that's when I first started out, so it's not so professional. But anywho, um, Gina Jenin and his... Uh, followers don't vote because he said that if they are 99% in line with the Bible and they get one thing wrong, you shouldn't vote for them. Now I disagree with that. Okay. Because I, these political, these politicians 
or not Christian. So I don't believe that um, that um, Christians should not vote. I believe that we should vote because um, voting for the right candidate, um, they might not be aligned with our belief, but at least they will make your life better when it comes to your finance. And I, and I will be voting for Trump, although the media make him seem like a bad person. And although I, his personality is not that great, I don't care about personality. I care about the economy. I care about our future and I care about, um, put an American first. So this is why I will be voting for Donald Trump because I need, I believe that as a business person, he was better off for the economy. We had, this is the first time in our whole lifetime, well, I don't know if in my lifetime, that I have an opportunity to hire the candidate and test them out, right? And I had four years of Trump and four years of um, Biden Harris and when you compare both, this previous um, president did a lot of things that was really bad for our country. Um, yeah, I I really uh, had to share this video because I feel like it's important for everyone to hear different um, believers or um, perspective. And I believe that our country is going in the wrong direction. And all, all politicians, all they care about is the rich. And I do understand that they attempt to campaign on making the middle class um, do better financially. But however, according to research, they say that once the middle class does well, then everyone does well. I picture myself as a middle class and I am not doing well. I believe that the poor people that uh, they get more support from the government. So that's where I, I disagree with Gina Jenin. The people that are on food stamp and they get um, sec section eight and they don't pay a lot of taxes. They're doing better. When you go to the grocery store, me, middle class person has one cart empty, having a heart attack every time they scan an item. But then I look behind me and there's this woman with like five, six children with like three, all child, all, all of her children have one card. And then she pays with that card, the food stamp card, while I'm having a stroke every time they scan a item. So I know it's very controversial, but let me know what you think. Please don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. Have a blessed day.